What's up, people of the internet and YouTube? Coming back with uh, another version of Top 10 DVDs, and this time it's going to be action movies. And these, this DVD list is in no particular order. And to let you know by the, this time next week, or a little sooner, I'll have my DVD update with the DVDs I've gotten because uh, I'm getting more DVDs here shortly so I'll be back for another one of those and the first movie I'm gonna show you I have is uh, the movie Push a good movie it has a it's one of I think besides um the Runaways is Dakota Fanning's uh, top performance and it stars Chris Evans and Camilo Bell as well, and Jimon Hanzu. It's um, directed by Paul McGuigan, or however you say his name. And Push is a really good movie. I, all these movies you should go check out. Push is a good one, then. I'm going to have to rewatch it. I haven't seen it in a while. And as you can tell, I don't know if you, you're going to be able to tell by this assortment, but I'm a big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. I love the guy. And his, his when, when he does performances in movies, it's just killer. I love his movies. And uh, this next one it stars him and um, Gil Bellows and Gary Daniels as well. It's directed by Keone Waxman. And that movie is Hunt to Kill. Go check that movie out if you haven't seen that movie. This next one, people may not agree, but this next one is probably the best in the series of it. <clears throat> I got the special, um, unrated version of it. It's really good. A lot of action scenes in it. It's got WWE's Triple H in it. It's got Ryan Reynolds. It's got Jessica Biel. And it's got Wesley Snipes. And I'm not sure if I said it has Ryan Reynolds in it, but it does. And that is Blade Trinity, the Trinity version. Very good one. I think it's the best one of the series. This next one is also going to be one of them, I don't know how to say it, Marvel? I think, hang on, let me see. Yeah, on the back it says Marvel right there. And this next one has Nicolas Cage and Eva Mendes, and it's directed by Mark Steven Johnson, and it's Ghost Rider, another Marvel movie. I don't know if you can see that, it's got a glare on it, hang on. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. That's a good one. <clears throat> and also, there's something I'd like to talk about before I get into the rest of them. I don't know, but I watch Cool Duder and Wet Movie 1 and Swap Meat Searcher. I'm not sure. I, I look under their, uh, in their description after every DVD collection. And I'm not, I, I don't think they put the year. But I, I, this is what made me want to get into showing my DVD collection as them. So I want to thank Cool Duder. Wet Movie 1 and Swap Meat Searcher. And this next one also star is uh has um Jennifer Garner and a few others. And it's from uh, it's directed by Rob Bowman. And it's also again another Marvel movie. What can I say? I love Marvels. That's Marvel movies are, I think, they have the best transaction from comic books to movies. For some reason, I love them. <clears throat> Actually, I think those three are the only Marvels in my collection. Or, um... And, uh, this update. I have more. Yeah, I have more. I, I've gotten, um, Daredevil with, um, <clears throat> Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner. And this one is basically the sequel. 
I, I'd like to say sequel to the movie. I'm not sure if it is or not, but I'd like to say sequel. And that's Electra. If you don't like this movie, you should at least pick it up because of the cover. I mean, look at that cover. Can you blame me for picking that up? No, you can't. I mean, look at that. She is sexy. Come on. And uh, besides Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, this is Angelina's, I think, one of Angelina's best um, action roles, in my opinion. And that is, it stars, uh, well, Angelina Jolie. And Daniel Obishiski, however <laughs> you say his name, is directed by Philip Noyce, and uh, it's a uh, salt. If you haven't seen this movie, check it out. It's a really good one as well. This next one probably has almost dang near all of the big Hollywood names, and it's um it's got Sylvester Stallone, Statham, uh, Jet Li. Um, Randy Couture, um, Terry Crews, uh, Bruce Willis, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. This one, Stone Cold Steve Austin, plays the um, the bad guy. And uh, I just think in this one sequence, um, Terry Crews has this awesome machine gun. I just love the machine gun. And that would have to be the Expendables. And uh, in the on the back says from Stuart Lee, WNYX TV, the most explosive action film of the year. And it was produced in uh, 2010. It's a really good one. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And uh, just in case you you my viewers are looking at this um, and thinking to themselves, if I've seen Expendables 2, I have not. And uh, I most likely will probably try to get that one. And there's another Stone Cold movie that I'm going to try to get in. It's called Recoil. And I'll show that in my next um, update I do. This next one, I just generally like it because I like uh, Heath Ledger. And, uh, and uh, this is... Yeah, I'm going to say it. This is his best performance. I think this... If he wouldn't have um, OD'd or however he, he died, he would have... Yeah, it's a shame that he did that, but... This would probably be his comeback film. And I'm not joking with that either. Um, that would have to be a dark night. It's it's not... I think watching this movie... I know I liked The Joker before, but liking this movie really brought me back into uh, liking The Joker. Especially this version with all the comics and the ha-has and the hee-hees on the back there. Yeah, that one, that one was just awesome. And uh, the, my favorite Batman would have to be the animated series. That Joker from the animated series is, I want to say, funnier and more, I, I don't want to say creepier, but I liked that Joker more than I liked uh, <clears throat> the movie Joker. Not, not just Heath Ledger, I liked the, the animated series Joker better than um, Jack Nicholson and uh, a few others who's played the Joker. I just... Don't get me wrong, I think Jack Nicholson did a f marvelous job at it. And, uh, but these next two, as I really like them, and and it's a double feature. I liked both movies. Now, do I mean that one of them's going to be number one and one's... No, I just, I, like I said in the beginning, they're in no certain order. I didn't order them. I just picked my top ten, my, my favorite movies, my favorite ten action film movies out of my collection. And I'm showing you them right now. And one of them, is the one feature is has Denzel Washington and Gary Oldman, and it's directed by the Tim Hughes, the Hughes brothers. And the other one has Will Smith, and that's directed by Francis Lawrence, and that is The Book of Eli and I Am Legend. Now, if I wanted to buy these separately, which I'm, I'm not going to do that because I have this. The Book of Eli would have cost me 10 And I Am Legend would have cost me 5 Together, this is a deal. Together, I got them both for $5.
that's one heck of a deal and I got it from Walmart if you haven't seen either of them I recommend you go watch the, watch this these movies you just great action packed films and uh, uh, uh the book of Eli I do remember a little I'm gonna explain the book of Eli a little the book of Eli is this guy he has this most rare uh seeked out treasured book that everybody's trying to get their hands on. He has to deliver it from L.A. And he goes through all these towns and everybody's trying to get their hands on it. And basically if they try to like get their hands on it, they're going to try to kill him to get it. And he kills them instead. But it has an amazing twist in it. I advise everybody to go see that movie. And this is Donald Clark. Donald Rock Channel. Saying have a bloody day.